Your phone, your car, and all of your electronics work thanks to these little things called semiconductors. And 90% of the world's advanced semiconductors are manufactured by one company in Taiwan. TSMC is a pretty reliable partner to most tech companies. It's the backbone of the digital economy. So no one gave much thought to its monopoly power until COVID hit. Over the past year or so, the world has experienced a massive shortage in semiconductors. That's why it's so hard to buy a new PS5, for example. You see, manufacturing these semiconductors requires really, really complex factories, more sanitary than a surgery room. And one little inconsistency in demand can send the whole production line belly up and with it, the entire global economy. That's exactly what happened during the pandemic and TSMC has spent tens of billions of dollars trying to fix it. But no matter how much TSMC tries, their monopoly power is coming to an end. The pandemic is only the tip of the iceberg. Taiwan is probably the most dangerous place on earth. China has promised to invade it very soon. All of these tensions and the rise of a new Cold War have led superpowers like the US, the EU, India, and China to want to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency and supremacy. Basically, everyone is trying to replace Taiwan as the lord of the chips. So I wanna ask, how did Taiwan become the chip bearer in the first place? How long will this supremacy last? And what happens when the competition catches up? TSMC has a pretty genius business model. It started in the late 80s. Back then, the market, dominated by Intel, was focused purely on manufacturing chips that they themselves had developed, not manufacturing anyone else's chips and not letting anyone else manufacture theirs. When the founder of TSMC proposed his business model of only manufacturing chips for anyone, any company that wants it and holds the IP, he was laughed at by the entire industry. But over the past 15 years, mainly thanks to contracts by Apple and the rest of big tech, TSMC has whacked Intel and Samsung into the fringes of the market and have become the world's chip supplier. Why? Because developing these chips is expensive, but manufacturing them is even harder. When you try to do both, you spread yourself too thin. When you laser focus like TSMC did, you can scale like mad. Chip developers like Apple, Qualcomm, and Nvidia don't want to be bothered with the manufacturing side and TSMC can take care of it for them. And it makes good money too. Their fat margins yielded them $20 billion of profit on a $48 billion revenue in the middle of a pandemic. And when it comes to super advanced chips, the company is so ahead of the competition that during this pandemic it raised its prices by 20% and no one can do anything about it. They're also scaling like mad. TSMC already controls 40% of the market and 90% of the advanced chips market. But just this year, they doubled their budget for building new factories to $30 billion. By 2024, they'll spend $100 billion on new factories. A good chunk of them will be in North America, some of them in China, but we'll get to that in a few seconds. TSMC's supremacy is coming to an end. As I said, China and America both want to become the ring bearer. South Korea is already second best to Taiwan, and the EU has a handful of companies that are essential to the chip making industry. Some 72 new chip manufacturing plants will be completed around the world in the next three years. Not all of them are owned by TSMC. The EU is spending $150 billion to boost manufacturing across the continent. The US, 50 billion, and South Korea, 450 billion. India is also trying to build up its own domestic chip manufacturing. And then there's China. The US embargo has made it difficult for companies like Huawei to buy chips. That gives Beijing even more reason to just go ballistic and invade Taiwan just so its domestic supply chains can survive. Taiwan could be to a potential World War III what Poland was to World War II. I've already made a super detailed video about that which you should check out right after this. In the US, many support the idea that America should build and consume its own chips like the good old days. Now, that would be a good idea in a different world where global supply chains are not so entangled. But right now, it would be an almost impossible task that would make everything more expensive for the average American consumer. The EU is trying to create more of technology pockets already so prevalent in the Netherlands or Belgium all over the continent. While that's great news for the European economy and pretty bad news for TSMC, subsidizing factories could lead to a lot of waste and the overcapacity of chips. The chip making industry itself is also transforming. In part, thanks to TSMC's innovative business model, there are now more and more firms developing more and more complex chips without having to worry about the manufacturing side. More complex chips mean more complex equipment and more expensive factories. The industry moves so fast that factories can actually become outdated before companies can even finish building them. 
as competition gets more intense and chips become more diverse, it'll be harder for TSMC or anyone for that matter to monopolize the entire industry. In a decade or so, Moore's law will become much slower and a bit of a fantasy. That will buy competition some time to catch up to TSMC and Samsung. Already, Samsung and TSMC are eating at each other's market share like two dogs pulling on the same bone. Intel is just being Intel. And as geopolitical tensions rise, companies like Apple, Tesla, and Nvidia might choose to go with a safer, albeit more expensive, smaller competitor just so they can avoid another chip shortage if shit hits the fan and China actually invades Taiwan, or if just an earthquake destroys the highly concentrated technology parks on the island. Now, it's not all bad for Taiwanese chip making. While TSMC is playing both sides, building factories in America and in China, by 2025, more than 85% of its facilities will still be in Taiwan. And factories take a long time to build, remember? That's plenty of time for TSMC to build up a war chest and be financially secure enough to put up a really, really good fight for decades to come. But competition just keeps getting fiercer. Chip making is the backbone of the 21st century economy. It's a massive web of complex supply chains and hyper-specialized factories. Taiwan has a monopoly on it all and will have for some years to come. But only time will tell how the industry will reshape and reinvent itself. And boy, it's an interesting war to watch. If you like this video, subscribe to Cash the next one. And if you want to see more high quality videos like this, please head over to my Patreon. See you next time.